You remember yesterday we learned that string musicians make sounds by vibrating the strings on their instruments. There's still one thing that concerns me. How does one instrument produce so many high and low notes? That's a good question, Larry. You remember the difference between high notes and low notes is how rapidly the vibrations occur. Rapid vibrations are high notes, slow vibrations are low notes. Would you like to see that on our sound scope again? I would. Julie Albers is here to help us by playing some notes into the sound scope. Julie, could you play us a low C so we can see how many vibrations there are? Good, you can see there are two main vibrations there. Now if you'd play us two octaves higher. And now you can see many more vibrations. Looks like there are maybe four times as many vibrations. That's right, Larry. In fact, twice as fast is what musicians call an octave, and she played two octaves higher, so it was four times as many vibrations in the same time. So what are some of the ways Julie can change how rapidly her strings vibrate? Well, in the case of a stringed instrument like the cello, there are several ways to do that. Making the string shorter by cutting it off with her finger is one way. Making the string tighter is another way to get a higher pitch. If her cello is so versatile, why do we need the violin? Well, there's a limit to how high you can go on any one instrument, so you build a similar instrument that's smaller, and with shorter strings, it's naturally higher. <laughs> 